Okay. Good evening. Good night. Good morning. Good afternoon to some of you, according to your location on the face of this planet Earth. We welcome you all to our today's live broadcast right here from our homeland, Radio Biafra. Here in Biafra land, where I am broadcasting from. Thank you for joining us. I remain the fearless IPOB evangelist, Mazi Madam Chumachuku. I am from Ndiabo. Ndiabo is in Anenri. Anenri is a local government in Ojiriva province, Biafra land. I am a homeland broadcaster under IPOB. Adi Amakwama. Namdekan is our leader. He leads us, he leads us from DSS solitary confinement. It doesn't matter what the enemy does. He is our leader. That is why we will continue to push. He knew that this very war will be in this very manner. That's why he, Namdekanu, took time, years, and spent everything available with him to make sure that majority of his followers acknowledge the fact that what IPOB believes in is self-determination. We do not believe in armed struggle. We continue to maintain it. It doesn't matter how it pains you. It doesn't matter how your emotion is moving you. Self-defense is different from armed struggle. Self-defense is a, a, a universal law. It's also a natural law. You have the right to implement it. You will not ask anybody to command you to, for self-defense when you are acknowledging danger that is ahead of you. But some people don't understand that self-defense pushed IPOB to launch ESN, but ESN have boundaries of duty and they have their duty post. And that is why ESN was not launched in communities. ESN was launched in the bushes because they were specially launched against state-sponsored Fulani terrorist S-men that are mainly Nigerian soldiers, disguised as S-men, raping our mothers, killing them, raping our daughters, killing them, kidnapping them, invading our communities, setting it ablaze, ki killing people in our communities, destroying our farmlands, destroying our crops with their cows, kidnapping us, collecting ransom, setting our land on siege, occupying our bushes and forests. That's why ESM was launched. ESM was not launched immediately. This thing had been happened. This thing started happening. No. IPOB, through the leadership and leader Amazin Amdekano, wrote to the governors from the east concerning this very, the security of the people, which we knew that the lives of the people are in danger because Fulani have come to take our land. We try to acknowledge, we try to bring their attention. We knew that they knew, but we have to inform them. Our leader told them their constitutional right to defend us, but they ignored it, which is called, uh, which the offense they committed is negligence of duty and inefficiency of duty. The governors from the East ignoring Fulani killings. That's why ESN was launched. And since then, ESN have nothing to do in communities unless you, as a Biafran in our community, you now turn to a Fulani herdsman. Instead of us to focus on Fulani herdsmen, you now disguise as our brother, you start terrorizing our people, you are drawing the attention of ESN and they will come for you. There will be no gunshot in that community, there will be no crisis, nothing, you will be captured because they are special. But ESN does not have Siena, ESN does not have Hilos, ESN does not have Jeep because the bush and forest where ESN was launched, there is no quota, there is no express route. Namdekan did not construct express road in the bush. Anybody, you, any people you see hanging on Siena, hanging on Jeep, hanging on the pickup, and you say our men, they are criminals. 
ESN does not operate in the communities. ESN has no road in the bush. There are bushes, um, camps of ESN that you walk from the road, main road two hours or three hours on Baleg to the camp. There is no, there is no road for vehicle in ESN camps. That is why when Nigerian government want to disgrace themselves by using their army or police, they will park their vehicle beside the road and go to post and tell you, we invaded ESN camp. This is ESN camp. Uh, uh, we discovered the Afra flag, the uh, uh, USA flag, Israeli flag, as foolish as they are. ESN have no single flag handed over to them. ESN is not the owner of Dragon Flag. Dragon Flag was raised after many killings, 23rd of August, 2020, on Sunday. That's when Dragon Flag was raised. ESN was launched in December 2020. That is to say, the Dragon Flag had been there before ESN was launched. Now you understand. Do you understand? But you see Nigeria Army or Police, hey, this is ESN camp, two posts from the main road. ESN cannot be foolish like that to stay two posts from the main road. Meaning what? Meaning what? You see their vehicle, the vehicle of the police along the side, the roadside. You see them coming out from the bush. We are just saying, invaded ESN camp, Alon Abaga, you mad? Just like one idiot that who was the man, the brother of Fusor, who the man, he sponsored, he said he's a Jima, he's the ESN. He said that their camp is at the back of police station. As foolish as who? So ESN can be foolish to that level to have camp at the back of police station. You know, when they want to lie, we, we, we know that that is how they lie. And that is why we confront them. ESN does not operate anybody with the Siana. Any group you see with Siana is not ESN. Any group you see with the Hilos claiming you can buy black cloth and wear. ESN does not operate in community. There is no road Namdekano or IPOB constructed for ESN in the bushes and forests. That is why it is difficult for Nigerian Army to invade ESN camps because they believe to be closer to their vehicles. Nigerian army and police are always closer to their vehicle. Therefore, they cannot pack their vehicle and walk two hours or three hours on leg to where ESN is. No. You know, if they are chased away, they cannot see a vehicle to run to. So they are always closer to the road. They go two posts to the nearest bush. They come out with the flags. They will go and release people from detention. And so so them are doors. They will present them. They say, these are ESN. That's how we oppose the matters. <laughs> People from prison, they say they are ESN. We invaded their camp with the Jewish material, with the USA flag, with the Israeli flag, with the Biafra flag. Doing what? Who is the ESN showing flag in the bush? Flag can be raised for human beings to see it. How do they raise flag, hide flag in the bush? Because the flag you used to bring is not, was not raised. None of the flag you bring was raised because flag cannot be raised under the bush. Right? And that people cannot raise flag in the bush. Flag are being hanged. So if the flag, the ESA hang flag, it will go up above the bushes, above the glasses. That is to say, human being will see it. So how can ESN go with the flag? They will hide it under the forest. So flag can be hiding. So what is it presenting? What is the flag representing in the bush if it cannot be raised on top of tree? So ESN will hide the flag under the bush. Biafra flag, Israeli flag, American flag. In the Who are they showing it to? Flag can be seen by human being, not by grasses. Now you see how we mark them. Kaila <laughs> Madani. Nandia, they think we are joking. We know what we are doing with IPOB. We launched ESN. ESN did not launch us. We launched it. We'll tell you about it. You can't just come up and say ESN. You walk from road, main road to two posts in the bush. You say that ESN. Are, 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 you, are you foolish? Are you, are you mad? Ask 
the Nigerian army, why have they not invaded any ESN camp? Ask them. Because they cannot walk two hours on their leg, three hours on their leg, park their vehicle on the road. They are cowards. They always try to be closer to the Amoka. So that when you chase them, they will run into the Amoka. Let them be, let, let Nigerian army go inside the bush, go to ESN. Two hours you walk on the road, three hours, some four hours before you get to ESN camp. ESN camp is not too close to main road. All this rubbish you used to show. Again, ESN does not have e um, Siana. ESN does not have Helos. ESN does not have Jeep. ESN operates in the bushes. And there is no road consulted by Namdekano or Biafra and IPOB for ESN in the bushes. Where they will be driving vehicle. Understand this and know you are no peace. Because anybody you see parading with the vehicle in the community, they said that our men, these are criminals, the gangs, the gang group of baby bush, double lion. What are their names? Tempo, which is Butuzo, 50. Odumod. These are the heroes of autopilot. They refuse to celebrate them. I was expecting to see the picture of Baby Bush and Double Lion and the Dumodu circulating as the fire heroes. You know, they claim they are their men. Criminals are your men. Mad people. And on that point, we are going to pray. We are going to pray. We are going to pray. Thank you. Omo I am not going to remember the prayer. There is a platform where I am broadcasting from. You know, some of them may see me there as they see me new in that very pla platform. We don't entertain evil here. If you love evil, you see that place you are watching me from, get out because I will cause you high BP. That is how we do. We don't entertain evil here. Both Facebook stars, they are angry with me now. They are angry with me because they knew we does not cook good food, uh, good food for our enemies. Facebook on special duty. Chineko Barra, Chineko Bieberi. Email la, when I know you. Email la, when I in the area. Email la, when I in the scientist here. Ndia Bungwobo, Ndia Quadu, Iji Chepa Lania, and then we buy Napa Haina or Biafrata. O Biaman Jetana Tatet me. Ndijri go say a map. Ndijri go say a flag. Ndijri go say a I never gave my good in the duty. Make a little buggy, but can't think it will end after the air land and sea blockade. Can't wake him one day the can. I have presented the incarnation of Mawa, Madweb, on what we are to see. So, Yaka is the one eta, no one in Manobodoibo, and we could not see it. We na abandi raka. Odi ginfe, makana ukuru na Bruce Merok, muro population of Biafra. 1969, utwa injiwa na USA, mo na UK. O kari ni dai na protest. Kama na yebu yibu utwa, o biya muro jime kena doda. We ba umwe yako. Ubuwa ife saga ino wani. Aye na zeba na submit yao. Obozi is here, man, because they ran. I am not even a protest. Obozi is here in a plane, man, Kaiga. If we see, man, can they plot to charge any before we go? On the road, you can hear passes on the ambulance, we go. On the road, you can hear. Man, can they program we go? We do a charge in a body church. No get to do it. Now, boy, can they not go? Now, Hong Kong protest wa, he protest wa. Then na Germany protest wa, he protest wa. Then na whole in England protest wa, he protest wa. Iya bumbore kor. Then na Abia make that neba. Iwe send diani ayano zero budona. Na tuambe hanu. 
Ne go si han jo hani yu. Nandi a han barankata eme e landa si blokedi. Na ye ka di pandu. Obi ya mra ije tim. Obi ya mikwa ije kileki. Ebi le cha yi nyayi nandi kanu nyayi nyayi diyo bi nyayi ISM. Ani o meritiria. Obi ya mna nyayi. Ani o kwe si nyayi nandi kanu. Ani o kwe si nyayi nyayi diyo bi. Ani o kwe si ke nyayi ISM. Ma ki nyayi ayin abasi la di wiket. Kama ni yon nanyan ki kadyo kou ne ba yon. Ok wala ka yon si bia. Nare ke le. Nare o tutu. Nare o jidang. Ni hi jiga yon bi mendiru. Ayin le peko ebere. On wunen diru azo ke fodronu. Mek ha pouti. Mo bu lucifa. Mek ha pouti. Inya yon na yon ki wukiwa yon bi yon bi kwa mgoro. Nam di kana apogo. Onye man yon bulo ge me. Kadya fra ha bi yon bi yon. Ya me. Ni yon na. Ay bi yon bi ke me yon yon. Dya yon aka. Mo wunen na pozisyon an yon. Time is on a Biafra, come. Nareke, nare o tutu, nare o jitam, nampilye, ni ene bochi. Nahake, chi, uku, okike. Abia, amara, poro, ime, ihe ni ele. We have prayed. Ise, 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 thank you. We move. Ay, jimada na. Don't forget to Nigeria, Madonna. We are holding them down. They move nowhere. Intimidation cannot move us. Torture cannot move us. Illegal detention can. That is why when the, somebody tell me a new government is coming, I ask them, "What are you coming to do? Is the new government coming to declare um, to go and attack in Amikano's house that we have not seen before?" Is the new government going to extraordinarily rendition in Namdekano, the second one, the one we have not seen before? Is it disobedient to court order that we have not seen before? Justice Ademola of the Federal High Court Abuja on the same, in December 2015, the state of unconditionally he was rearrested. Tell me what we have not seen before. Now, nah, new government. Uh, which new government? Under what? Is it Namdekano facing trial? New government for what? To decide on Namikano's case as what? As if Namikano has case. New government is for the zoo, not on our case. The case has been discharged. The case ended. There is no legitimate detention warrant keeping Namikano in detention. There is no valid detention warrant for your information. Immediately he was discharged and acquitted, the very detention warrant becomes invalid to detain him. As if, if you shoot gun, you can score these goals. Do you know the goals we have scored? Do you know how Nigeria has been exposed? So with your gun, you can achieve what IPOB achieved. But some people have killed us on Monday for two years. They didn't achieve anything. They said the idiot has collected money. The first time on this at home, they started killing us. What did they achieve? Did they achieve anything? Today they are asking us, what is your business with the court when you have gone? What is your business, coward? You have gone. Hey, we have struggle. We are coming to next side. Then you are still waiting for court report. You are still waiting for updates from DSS. You are still waiting for court dates. You don't have business with anything. It is political solution. Court is political solution. You rejected it. You said that killing Biafras is the best. To free Namdekano, have you free him? No. All of you are now in exile. Mad people are free with Now, the, 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 what did you achieve with your Monday statue? You bring that gun. Childlessness. To families in Biafra land. And when you ask for me, they told you, our leader said, whatever you know, you do Biafra, come, do it. And they don't know that the same Namdekano said, Whatever you know you will do and to stop Biafra from coming, do it. The same man said it. <laughs> now, they are now doing what they will do for Biafra not to come. And when you want to understand, they will tell you, our leader said, do whatever you will do for Biafra to come. But you don't know they are not doing what they will do for Biafra to come. They are doing the other one. Because our leader said, whatever you knew for Biafra, you know you can do for Biafra not to come. Do it, because IPOB will do everything humanly possible to make sure that Biafra come. 
Now you see what they were doing. They were making sure Biafra didn't come. They were using the other one. They responded to the call that our leader said, if you know what you can do to stop Biafra from coming. But when they, they want to deceive you, they will tell you, our leader said, do whatever you do for Biafra to come. Did you understand? Now, do whatever you do for Biafra to come. If you know what you do, Biafra will come do it. Why do not the kind of suspend people? Why do we expel? Why was it Jeremy for sacked? Why was George only by expelled? We are there not doing what they will do for Biafra to come. So you will do out of the command of IPOB for Biafra to come. But when people call Radio Biafra and say, I can manufacture this, I'm a scientist, or I can say, we are taking your number. He would have told them to go and they do it for Biafra to come. But he went to bring them under command. That is to say, why IPOB can expel and suspend means that you don't have to do anything that you have to do because you must be commanded. You must be controlled because you did not study Biafra. He said anywhere in the course you study in school, did you study Biafra? Then how do you know what you do for Biafra to come? Our leader was calling us. He said, whatever you know you will do for Biafra to come, do it. What does that mean? Those that can be right, come out. Those journalists, come out. Join IPOB. You will all be used in IPOB. Not to go and burn people's house. Not to go and keep people on Monday. Keep their friends. And they told you that our leader said, if you look for me, you did not see me. Set the zoo ablaze. Then I ask you, show me one part of the zoo where you set ablaze. It's all a zoo. It's a year a zoo. I'm asking you, it's a zoo or a zoo? It's a zoo you took a zoo? Obo is a part of the zoo. Mba no is a part of the zoo. Okibo is a part of the zoo. Mbito is a part of the zoo. I'm asking you. Owe is a part of the zoo. Mbi say is a zoo. Ihiya is a zoo. Onicha is a zoo. Nno is a zoo. Okin is a zoo. Ekuna abia is a part of the zoo. We are asking you now. Ogo is a part of the zoo. Nsuka is a part of the zoo. Emen is a part of the zoo. Enuk is a part of the zoo. Odiriva is a part of the zoo. Oh, have you? Is it part of the zoo? As I is it part of the zoo that you were killing people? He said it's Monday for first at home. Is it part of the zoo? I'm asking you. Show me what part of the zoo you set up place. Show me. If you cannot accommodate the truth, it's ever poor. This is two years. Monday start home, you were killing people, you're talking rubbish. Mad people everywhere. If you don't know what I'm talking, you get out from that place. Ishaba is so poor, your brain is coconut. IPOB believes in self determination. We do not engage in armed struggle. We have the right to defend ourselves. And we can never declare war because war has been declared on us by the Nigerian government. Can you understand? We know what we are doing. You declare armed struggle, you don't have the right to go for the freedom. You don't have anything to do with the freedom. You declare I'm sorry, you have nothing to do with sit at home. You are holding gun. You have to make your own option. You don't have anything to do with civility. Military man does not need civil servant in a protest for your information in case you have lost your senses. If you have gone, if your leader is in detention, you go there and rescue him. You don't wait for God, death of God. You don't wait for a report from court. You don't need to wait to hear anything from lawyer. You don't need to wait for a government to make up order. The people that are that went to court are people that believe in self determination, right? You that believe in God. Why have you not been in DSS? Show me one part of the zoo you shot a gunshot. If not the Biafra land, now is Biafra land the zoo? Our leader said, if we want to do this. ESM will do it for us. But before we do that, before we achieve that, we need to set the scenario of Yemen. Listen to me. Oh. I'm the fearless IPOB evangelist. I preach Biafra and Biafra land. In the open. In junctions, in markets. In meeting. That whole meeting, I'll come to your meeting. You see that your army. You will bring your gun down. I'll bring Biafra and go. When I leave you, that is why you'll be regretted. Right? Did you understand? 
Now, you go for, you go for, you, you declare armed struggle. Then IPOB believe in self-determination. They go to the court. You be in Biafra land killing Biafra. But IPOB go to the heart of the zoo, which is Abuja. And you call us cowards. People that have moral to go and be in Abuja court. Why Nigerian security says all around Abuja? And you are in Biafra land killing Biafrans. I want you to add the business for now. No. Can you understand? That is what we mean. We refuse to engage in armed struggle because we demand for the freedom. If you, if you engage in armed struggle, you do not have to call for the freedom again. If Nambikano, if IPOB go into armed struggle, they will stop calling for the freedom. You will stop seeing us on media. You will see us in gun battle. You will not see our press release. You cannot see us warn any governor. What are we warning for? The sound of the gun should be the voices you will hear. But for now, we don't have gun. Then, how come people that say they have gun, they declare armed struggle, they are now dragging the media with us? You declare armed struggle, you are media commenting and asking me what are you saying? Can't you go in the bush? Are you not in armed struggle? Are you not in government in answer? Go in the bush now. What are you doing on media? Do you see Ambassador broadcast? If not, when their leader come to give broadcast, because they are in armed struggle. What you see in their video, uh, in their on their pages or in their pages are videos of their activities where they encounter the enemy. You can't see them here because they are in armed struggle. But the people that told me they are they have gone, they have a worship, they are dragging the media with me. As if we are in the same category. Right? What we mean is that the Monday Statum was projected to kill us. Immediately I probably suspended it. Show me the result apart from killing people. Their friends. Show me one Nottana that falls victim of Monday Statum. Enforcement. Because IPOB does not enforce. Civility cannot be enforced. Civility, civil disobedience cannot be enforced. That is why if you hold gun, you don't have the right to call for self-defense determination. Uh, what is it called? For civil, um, civil disobedience. Because you cannot endure. You will kill people. Only civilians can call for civil disobedience. If you disobey, that is your business. If you go to market and customer could be, cannot, uh, was not able to come to the market, you go. That is the only issue thing IPOB can do you, is that you come out to go to bank, you didn't see a transport to enter. We can kill you. If you wait, you didn't see motor, you go back. But the people that hold gun, if they see you for not, not agreeing with them, they'll shoot you. But in IPOB, what will shoot you is when you go to market, you did not see customer. You will spend your money, you will be afraid to be in the market, and you will leave the market and go. Next time, you will not come out for sit at home. That's how we do. Because it is civility. You don't enforce people. There's nothing like enforcement. I, I, we started it. We campaigned for it in 2017. Nothing like enforcement. You don't enforce civility. You campaign for civility. Not with the threat. Now you see, you know that there is nothing you can do to IPOB because so what we are exposing is government agenda. They are doing it in the name of their fragmentation. That is government agenda. Right? Then we move. So now, Nigerians that think that they are in position for illegally detaining Nandekan, we ask them, What is exactly keeping the Namdekan in detention? If not shame. Is it not shame that after bragging, 
what they will do to Namdi Kanu. I will do this. Hey, he accused Buhari. He said that Buhari died. He said hey, if they catch him. In all, they was not able to jail Namdi Kanu. Since 2015, Namdi Kanu has been defeating Nigeria in their courts. Since 2015, Till today. Now you know that Nigeria is owing the Namdekano debts. Debts of justices he secured in courts. Not in the Afra court. Not in South African court. Not in Benin Republic court. Nigerian courts. Who prepared the charges? Nigerian government. Who took him to court? Nigerian government. Who chose a court? Nigerian government. <clears throat> Who appointed the judge? Nigerian government. <clears throat> but at the end, based on Nigerian constitution, they always found the Nam Dekano not guilty. Now you know the kind of battle Nam Dekano brought on Nigeria. Nigeria only weapon was to turn our people against Namdekano by coming with intimidation, invading our communities, recruiting people that will claim to be ESN, so that our people, they will start intimidating our people in communities. Recruiting people that will say, hey, we are in charge of ESN, so that they will organize criminals to abduct our people, then collect ransom from people that are burying their own burying their mother or father. They will go and collect money from you. They will say it's ESM money because they want to turn you against ESM. But we have informed our people and they all knew the purpose of ESM. Now, this very government planned agenda to use criminals to claim they are ESM so that community will say, if this is the ESM, we don't want ESM. So that the next time they wanted it was to make sure communities start protesting against ESN existence. Because they wanted to frustrate our people. They started raping. They said they are ESN. Just like Odmode, that every man his gang said they are, they, are, they are ESN. You saw how many women he is keeping in a place, marrying them. But when we call the name of these criminals on Lady Biafra, the idiot to say, they are calling the name of our man. Criminal becomes your man. Right? And these are the men you want IPOB leadership to accommodate. Now, the US need to carry everybody along as if God carried all angels along in heaven. A whole God could not be able to accommodate Lucifer and his angels. And the IPOB leadership is now above God to accommodate Lucifer also in IPOB. So what God cannot accommodate in heaven is what you want IPOB to accommodate. Now you know they are carrying everybody along. Think a little bit is not carrying them, but Mazin on the canoe was there. Which he has felt which before. No, he's not carrying everybody along. He has felt George Onibe. Obi being. No, he's not carrying everybody along. My other people. Until we accommodate thieves, then you know we are, uh, we are carrying everybody along. After defeating Buhari's government, eight years of torture, eight years of killing, eight years of abduction, eight years of mass killings of IPOB family members, eight years of illegal detention, eight years of disobedience to court orders. What did they achieve? They left. Both the governors from the East, they have left office. Did IPOB leave? No. Now you see what is different. Now you see what is different. Right? Now Miri Udeleji Sam could go the way feature you. Monaro Ugo. In a book, a book, a book, a book, a book, a book, Do you understand? 
That is one thing they don't know. You will rule and leave. I you don't have date. We will fight you until Nigeria, Nigeria, at least come to naught. Our agitation made Tunubu forced Tunubu into president, president of Nigeria. It wasn't their choice. But because Nam can expose Nigeria, Tinubu used it as, an, as a weapon to threaten them and they allowed him to rule. They read him. You know, this is an INEC government. It's not the government of the people. It's an INEC government now. INEC appointed government. Don't panic. Nobody has any issue with the case of Nnamdikan. Nnamdikan is not standing any trial, for your information. Nobody has power. Do you know the, the ruling he secured in appeal court? Unmovable. The state of execution is rubbish. Because the court of bar order has not been obeyed before the first state of execution. That's why they are running from Supreme that we took them to. Because after Supreme, the next place is heaven. So we allow them to dance their rubbish. We are the people that took them to Supreme. They should come and defend while they, defend, they refuse their own court order. And they are running because there is no other court after Supreme. Now you know. <laughs> In Rota Isaga, from State High Court to Federal, Federal to appeal, appeal to Supreme. Aya Lakwa. Aya Nagopa. Aya Lago Nigeria Ni. Aya Lago Kwa. And when court us all heaven. Half tank. Come and defend your the illegal detention of Namka. Go to Supreme. Some say they came with amended charges. It is not called amended charges. It is called amendment ground of appeal. Reasons why they kept in the canoe. But they don't have reason. That's what they filed. And these are people that amended charges. They are still amending ground of appeal. <laughs> <laughs> Very useless people. They say they are Nigerian. Do you understand? If you don't understand the battle we are fighting here on media, then you have to wait. When the one you will understand comes up. Because the, because the battle we are holding now is what the Ghana gave to us. That's what he gave us. What we are doing now. He did not give us God. So if you have gone, go and use it. Don't mention Nandekan. Don't mention IPOB. And they don't kill Biafrans. You can't be fighting for Biafra, you'll be killing Biafra. You are not important than the Biafrans you are killing. You see a Biafran that come out. He said, why do you come out? Well, you kill him. You burn the fire. As what? Are you greater than him? If he refuses to obey you, you go and they evangelize to him. You plan again. You check yourself. Why did they disobey? Not killing a dear friend that can turn to a lion tomorrow and fight more than you. That's why we don't kill. Somebody that can repent and they fight for dear friend more than you. One idiot will shoot the person down. He say why? One some fools in abroad. He say why did he come out? Are you the owner of the land? Are you the owner of the land? He came out in their land. If you let him know very well your reason of calling for this atom, he will not come out. Now, don't you know that people have emergency at times? So you expect hospitals to close also because you call for sit at home. That's how foolish all of you are. Hospital does not close. Do you understand? Or do you know you think we don't know all these things? Thank you. <laughs> okay, okay. The next place is Biafra, okay. <laughs> and we are another court. There is no other court. We don't close them internationally. We are protesting now. During Ojuku, few people was protesting in abroad. Now, majority, that is, big number of people are protesting. Not only protesting, submitting letters. Even presenting exhibitions. Now you see why the war of IPOB is difficult. Now you see why they are confused. Now you see why Nandikan defeated them. 
They were confused. These are Buhari that boasted. Now they can say the Buhari will give us Biafra. They take we are talking. Look at what they actually cost. Even with the name of Buhari, even as Buhari died. The first one, he was kidnapped by Buhari, Matla Mohamed Depot. The second one was well, kidnapped by Kabat. His house was invaded under the command of Faba Kiari. What did they achieve? Abba Kiari sat from two Amama and Daora. Erufai, Sultan of Sokoto. Atahiru, the then GOC of a two division, Enu, who piloted also Obi Massacre. He was also the advisor of Olo Massacre. Atahiru was shot down by bandits in Kaduna. They say it's a plane crash. Chineke mereme ebere. Chineke mereme ebere. Anya la kwa marini. Thank you. Simple. Free down the car. You leave it and run away. You that claim to be president because there was no president. Presidency. We we'll deal with him. You could not be able to jail on the car. You leave it for Tinubu. What is Tinubu going to do? A man that is not standing trial. He's not facing any trial. And I have been prohibited from standing any trial in any Nigerian court. Now you know. Now you know why Nandi can say, I will destroy you in your own court. Oh, and I will pay you know. You, you, you may try to price now. You know Nigeria used to price. <laughs> they have priced now. When they kidnapped Nam Dekano and they suddenly rendition him back to Nigeria, they started sending Ami Tawaland. <laughs> As if we are going to, to start war in our place. So this one now will start war in our place. Are we finished? But our leader said, we need to create the scenario of Yemen, the scenario of Syria, the scenario of Somalia, in the northern part of the damnable Republic of the Zoo. Not in Biafra land, in Uguya. In the first at home. Kill, destroy. If we see you, you come out, we kill you. You kill pregnant woman. But I did said, you need to create the scenario of Yemen, scenario of Syria, scenario of Somalia. In the northern part, it's not in Biafra land, but your first at home was in Biafra land. And when they asked, he said, the, our leader said, send the zoo a place. But you never go to the zoo. Because our leader said, in the northern part of the damnable Republic of the Zoo, that is where you will set up the scenario of Yemen, scenario of Syria, and scenario of Somalia. But uh, you will be busy doing it in their land. You become a tiger for killing your own. <laughs> hey, you'll be promoted. Hey, why do you come out? You don't you know? Today, sit at home. Our leader must be free around our back. You kill a Biafran to free the man that loved Biafran more than himself. Are you foolish? How do you listen? He loved Biafrans. Namdekan, he loved Biafrans more than himself. Now you say you love him more than Biafrans. Then you kill Biafran. That Namdekan is there to save. How do you listen? Are you normal? Are you sensible or, or, or I know somebody will try to reason somehow to defend his stupidity. But I, I I've been preaching Biafra before Namikan was kidnapped. So I will still say another one tomorrow. Can you understand? <laughs> I preached Biafra and that was leaking. So that you are angry, I said to it, I will still preach another one tomorrow. Now you know you, you get tired like Nigeria. Because the Ugari government have gotten their tired. Did they win? Did we not win them? What are they handing over to do? Are you handing over to Tinubu empty case? You know, I don't know how some people is. He's not standing at the trial. He's the one that took you to Supreme. To come and de de tell the court why he's still in illegal detention. Why did you file stay of execution? And the appointed judges that root on it, without you, first of all, obeying the court order, you must allow Namdekanu to go home, enjoy his hat trick go. Because 
the winning in court did not come easy. It didn't come easy now. It was a hard trick. Some people that claim they are fighting for Biafra and Free Namika, they told us, you cannot secure it, you cannot get victory in your presence's court. We need to set the Nigeria place. The suit they are talking is Biafra land. They are killing Biafras. In Enugu, Asibu. They say we are doing something. No. DOS is not doing something. No. But DOS is leading people to court. In Abuja, you are now sending criminals to kill us in Biafra land and you are doing something. No Nathana for victim. No Yoruba for victim. Their friends are all the victim. You kill their children. You kill a uh, pregnant woman. You kill elderly uh, people. You kill young people. To free who? Are you mad? To free who? Mad people they free. How can you kill my children to free me? You love me. They came to some they came to take my children. I block, I say take me. Right? You now come. I we told you what our father said. The way we will fight for his freedom. You say no. And you started killing the children that the father was defending, that warranted the enemy to take him. You started killing the children. They ask you said you love the father more than the children. But the father presented himself to save the children. Come on, Sheva, Pama. You that is listening, you have work. Mad idiot. Anon Pama. It's an idea. It's an idea. We move. We we'll continue to deal with our enemies. Okay, you are just seeing me new in that page. I will do Adam. You see that page? I will be coming steady there. Adam, I won't. It's not going to work as an alarm saying, you might. And I don't know what are you saying. I don't know about it. It's not going to work. I don't know about Biafra. Did you study Biafra in school? The answer is no. Then how do you know the best thing to do to restore it? Without under command. Are you foolish? Nigeria could not be able to intimidate us and succeed and stop us. Our own one, John Chomo, and Pama, political agents in abroad. Also, the man will send you money. All of you will call for fundraising. The man will send you money. And when you organize the fundraising, you idiot in abroad will say, I give it 400 pounds. I am giving 200 pounds money from most of them. You say you are doing fundraising to attract foolish Biafrans to contribute. Fundraising that was organized by Saudi politicians. I knew who they were in the brokers now. I don't know what. Mad people. Oh, more quickly campaign after Python dance in a Biafra land. We have a microphone. Go ahead, I have a group. Go Johnson to Johnson, state to state. Kosawa, Jinjawa people. I went to the building and they used to go here. They're not clean. They're learning why I'm not here now. I'm just born. I need preach in Biafra. I want to Biafra land. You need go around a bag. Are you mad? In a drop Biafra. God will punish you. Show me another and a fourth victim. Show me one part of the zoo where you shoot a gun. Hey, burn down the zoo. Or show me any part of the zoo. Show me any zoo barack. I'm a barack you attacked. Show me. Mad people. You see your father come out at the junction. You shut him down. Say, hey, why do you come out? Cowards. Why do you come out in my home? You was not able to convince me. During the freedom for Biafra. Your brother will vote against Biafra. If you touch him, you go to jail. Actually, can not walk. You stupid, you foolish idiot that refused to evangelize your brother to understand the importance of Biafra and encourage him to vote for Biafra. You could not be able to do so. Or you see your brother that believes in Nigeria. Then why is it two ballot box, boxes? One for Nigeria, one for Biafra. Not that Northerners will come and vote, no. Their friends in Biafra land will vote. Those that want to be to remain in Nigeria, they will vote for Nigeria. Your brother, you don't have to kill him. It is just the same with sit at home. You come for sit at home, your brother did not obey. You don't need to kill him. He may understand tomorrow. 
You kill the same name of power mic. I don't know about Now, like, no, but I can't have power mic. Idiot. If you be watching, in our watching broadcast, in our in our general, don't you have work? I don't know about you, idiot. We move. You have work. You are watching me. I don't know. You move the other work and move. It's an eager to probe your front. And we try to one man business. We try one not here. I book it. I tell you, bug up. You can't run. You can't say, hey, let me go and give it to another person. I am the one that will work it. It is my gift. I have one man business. I have works I stopped. My apprentice is, does not learn that one. It was given to me, special, because of this time of struggle. I make time to work it. I choose time. Even if I travel, you send me advice. You can't be angry. If I give you one month, you will be patient. I'm the only one that can work it. Government comes to me. In my field, they call me computer. In hand work. I can work anything. Anything I think now, consult it, anything. I am very well blessed. And I stopped in primary four. First term. In case I only able to go on account to get a baby in the book in Maputa. And you are a selfless servant. Since we are in human rights. Defending the people. In a church, it is not my business. He in age. A good mom, I can't make him demand. Do you know how much I will give a day? Depend. Where was I going to In all my life. Defending the people. I'm not going to change you. He in age. I want to hear how they age. We move. Thank you. I demand man. Now the country is illegally in detention. Don't be deceived. To and allow your emotion to be used by criminals who don't know what IPOB believes in. You cannot just come up. You say I am fighting for Biafra. Therefore, the activities of IPOB is condemned. Your own is best. I don't know what. Or you come, you force to be IPOB into another thing we do not believe in. Do you think that we was first? We planned it, we started it. Nigeria was not, be, not able to change our agenda. They tried everything, even to change the narrative. It wasn't uh, easy. But some of you was here, yeah, you jump up, our leader was kidnapped. That's when you begin, you know about to be Afra. Did you understand? Thank you. Thank you. But that very work, I don't teach people now because there's no opportunity. I go to work and work some hours, high as four hours, I'll leave because I'm into struggle. You cannot, maybe you cannot see me in office one week or two weeks. So that's why I cannot teach people. Work, you must be there, steady. Thank you. We move. So that is the issue. Namdekanu was not discharged. He was not dismissed. He was not cautioned and discharged. He was not struck out. He was not struck off. He was not struck at, strike out. He was discharged and acquitted. He was not cautioned and discharged. That is different from discharge. That is different from dismiss. That is different from caution and discharge. That is different from discharge and acquitted. Immediately it is pronounced. Handcuff will very, very will be very, very far away from you. The waters will be afraid of you. You have become an innocent man. And the after our leader was discharged, you saw some people working for the government. They printed poster. They added the picture of a freed man already that had been discharged by the God of Appeal, 13th of October 2022. 
They said it is no election. Free down the kind of the affair freedom. Are you mad? Do you think we are foolish? We does not dance like fools. We dance according to the tune or the sound of the music. We are IPOB. You don't look at a man that is alive. The man that is accessible. A man that believes in peaceful agitation and knows how to do it. And he champions it. And he's very well equipped on this. You went and bring his poster and added, added it in a violence, violence campaign. You put his picture in a can, in a poster and say, no election in Biafra land, Biafra is freedom, free Nam the Kano. What is the business of Nam the Kano freedom with no election? When you know that they took him and kept him there in order to fix him with the election activities, even during inauguration, they were wearing IPOB. Not to stop inauguration, swearing in, that is not our business. They even want to bring IPOB to Lagos, which we did not plan anything. They want to send down the kind of disrupted election. But to fool it, people that were sent by the government, they start perfecting it. Putting the picture of Nandi Kanu, posting it as an election, the same agenda of the government is what you want to perfect. It's a name, man. Name of Biafra, can you dare to ask us to come here? Biafra, come here, 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 from 10 p.m. to the 5 a.m. in the morning. The whole says that are quiet. The whole condition has said that which said, silent talk on. What else will leave their duty post to come and listen to history? That's why when Radio Biafra came, it was easy for us to understand it. And we are dealing with the enemy. Stop attacking this one, Facebook. Why are you attacking the other one? They're attacking the other one. And the other platform also. But we'll continue. The very battle, the choice we made is very, very hard. Our leader said we took the hard option. And we are going to restore Biafra. We never expected it easy. What we have achieved, if we start Counting it, you will know that we know what we are doing because we take records. But one problem with people is that when we are cooking for the enemy, they will be setting up their nose to understand the aroma of the food that IPOB leadership is cooking for the enemy. Even poisonous food, we cook for the enemy. Now they cannot bought these ingredients and keep it for them. They know when they put maggi. They know the one they will cook for us. When they cook it for you, it will reach you. That at me was our own food for everybody. It was passed to you. But there are other ones that are being cooked for the enemy. But our people expect it to be passed to them. They want to be aware. Okay, you cannot understand the aroma. <laughs> I guess you said they are not doing anything. <laughs> As if Nigeria is sleeping. If we are not doing anything, Nigeria will be sleeping now. Did you not hear Peter? He would have relaxed now because the government, the, the people have left office, so I will be have ended. Why is it Devil Mahi that Devil Mahi and Okezi Bazo did not stop IPOB? And if you see new government, you think who can be worse than Buan? Who? And who can even make IPOB to go worldwide like Buhari? Is it now we have defeated them? Now the can is not standing in the trial. This is one thing you must know. Now you know. Now you know that people that supported P2B, most of those that were shouting in Nam Kano, we stand with you. They supported their friends that still believe in Nigeria. They went for P2B. Some idiot was still expecting us 
to stop them from going to go and vote. Because you are ignorance of what IPOB is fighting for. We believe in self-determination. That's why, ignorantly, you were attacking us for when we allow the traditional rulers and religious leaders in their request, demanding that they should be allowed, they should be allowed by the leadership of IPOB to go for free Namdekano through any political solution. And the federators started singing it as a song. Hey, the political solution. The, what is political solution? The same thing Namdekano is fighting for. Self-determination. Court is political solution. Referendum is political solution. Now, we demand for referendum, which is a democratic process. People are going for voting, which, was a, which is a democratic, democratic process. Now, in referendum, there will be voting. Now, in election, there will be voting. And then Namdekano is in detention, right? And they are charging him for terrorism. Now, how do you see it if you use the name of Namdekano to stop a democratic process? Which you know that the world wants all government to turn to democracy. Now, Nigeria that you have the money, that you know they have the money to lobby lies against you. You want to use the name of Namdekano and stop election. The man that is in their detention. So that they will present to the world that he is against democratic process. Which is to say, if you are against democratic process, you will not be granted referendum. Because referendum is a democratic process. Which you know that your people that is against your request for freedom will also vote against you. They will vote for Nigeria. Now, that's why when we saw that instead of them to listen to Namdekano they, and understand, they listen for 10 years, they refuse to understand. They believe that PVC can do it. Oga, have you stopped them from testing PVC? They have been in IPOB in Biafra land. How? They will come against every IPOB family member. They will declare no IPOB in all the communities because they will say that IPOB stopped them from taking power away from Fulani. They will say that IPOB stopped them from giving presidency to Igbo man. That Igbo man would have freed Namdekano. Therefore, they will now sponsor protests against Sri Namdekan nationwide. APC will sponsor protests. How do they sponsor? When they are pro sponsoring the protests, they will also sponsor the counter. Who they will say they are IPOB. They are destroying government properties. Thereby, because of the crisis that will come up, because the lies will be that IPOB stop election in the East. That is to say, Attorney General and Nigerian government will now have a ground to have a point to present to the Supreme as grand amendment of appeal against Namdekano's appeal in Supreme Court. Did you understand? Thank you. They don't, it doesn't matter how it hurt them. Do you know the people I appreciate much? Since Namdekano was kidnapped, People that are not IPOB family members, though they are IPOB by birth, but they never shifted from the command of IPOB. You see those people, Namdekan does not play with them. You don't know them, they are media here. Any command IPOB gives, they will obey. Some of them are not on media. They follow instruction. They are not under oath. But they know the truth, they know the channel where you can communicate in the canon as far as it's alive. There must be a channel whereby he will lead you from. There must be a channel where Nambi Kano will lead you. You can't do any harm. That's why some people say, the Biafra struggle have entered the top and I say you're a fool. That is to say, no government of the world can meet you. No organization can meet you. Because you have no leader, you have no control, you have no advisor, you have no director, you have nothing like organization. You can never lead, you can never command, you can never organize, you can never advise. Because autopilot means do as you like. That is to say, if you present yourself like that, that is why Nigerian government and their media can never present the name of autopilot to the world. Do you know why? It is unpresentable. The meaning of the name is in the open. It is not something you will analyze. 
autopilot, it is unpresentable before any international community as the name of organization. That is why when they commit their crime, the media will call it IPOB. IPOB is presentable. That's why those handling the the auto criminal, they told them to add it IPOB. That is, uh, as far as you are an indigenous person, a person born from the east, you are IPOB. Then I asked the idiot, in 1998, have you heard about IPOB before? The answer is no. But you, you have been an indigenous person of Biafra since then. So why is it that um, in the year 2009, you didn't hear about, 2008, you didn't hear about IPOB? So in your community, have you heard about IPOB before? 1998, did you hear? Year 2000, did you hear? Then how come people establish it? They registered it. Then you now know that it is connected to you. Then don't you know that even in your own Muna, where you were, was born in, you must belong to Muna meeting. Though they know you are their child. Even in your village, you belong to village meeting. You gather in Lagos. You don't operate with the name of the, your village union or your town union meeting in Lagos, when you do not belong to them, though you came from the same community. These are idiots who don't understand. Now, I am born from the Eastern region, but when you hear a governor asking IPOB to come down, does the governor come from the north? The governor is from the Eastern region. So why is it that they will call IPOB to talk to IPOB because they know there are people that are IPOB? Now you know that if police or army come to a house in Biafra land where they want to kidnap IPOB family member, they will break the door of the particular IPOB family member. That's why that the people living in that house are Biafras by birth. Do you understand? That is why I asked one idiot. So, um... Why the Board Congress are they not IPOB by birth? He said they are. I said, why are they not calling their name? Why the Board Congress IPOB? Why is their name not IPOB? Why is it their customary government not customary government IPOB? Why is it that Benjamin Nomoka of the African Zionist Movement did not call it the African Zionist Movement IPOB? Why is it Masob did not add it Masob IPOB, Movement for the Actualization of the Sovereign State of Biafra, IPOB? Why is it that BNG did not add it IPOB, Biafra National Guide? Why is it that BNN, Biafra National League, did not add it IPOB? Why is it that EPC, Eastern People Congress, did not add it IPOB? Why is it that Lower Niger Congress did not add it IPOB? Which one will I mention? Why is it that BIM did not add it IPOB? Only you will add your own IPOB because you have something in mind. Then why is it that the media does not publish your name? They only publish IPOB because your name is unpresentable. If you are autopilot, nobody will lead you because autopilot means do anyhow. That is to say nobody can expel you. Nobody can suspend you. Nobody can command you. Nobody can control you. Nobody can organize. Nobody can organize fundraising. Nobody can even give you order because you do as you like. But today, you answer the name of autopilot then you don't even do as you like. Somebody still leads you. Somebody control you. Somebody command you. Somebody expel you. Somebody has suspend you. With the name of autopilot, you are a fool. The name means nobody is ahead. The name, the name means nobody can lead. The name means nobody can organize. Nobody can control. And today they are controlling you. Are you not a fool? Hey, they, were, they, were, they saw their leader to control us with command and control. They carried you out. Today they are commanding you and controlling you in the name of autopilot. Can the newspaper publish that name? No. They will try to add it to IPOB. Hey, now they can follow up. IPOB. Enforce it at home. But we don't enforce. Why is it that your name did not reflect on media? If it is presentable. Or you think Nigeria is not wise? Nigeria knows that they cannot present the name autopilot to the international community. It is unpresentable. The name is unpre it is autopilot, do as you like. People cannot use that name to be agitated for freedom. It is useless. Now you know. I'm the fellow side of evangelist, from Undi Abadi Amama. Not in a new mole on a Fearless, I'm a microphone. 
agaya ta ya agaya ba ni mebere a ozugbe si chara ozi oma guru nya na gidi ga ni ile ma drag ta microphone i don't care am mo nya me ma police or not it's not my business i preach be afra only am will bring out his phone and video me police will video me ma ko mo mo na no we surrender you can't do anything I go inside the market, you put microphone on the right hand. I don't have your business. I preach Biafra. I park at the checking point at the um, roundabout to preach Biafra. I stop in junction to preach Biafra. They invite me from local government to local government, state to state. They send me to states to preach Biafra. I won't pass your lesson never. Kuro kuro can hear me. After all, I'm going to get back. 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 No risk their paper. No risk their job. I'm going to get back. You can look for a job. As if now you are not going to Everybody. Somebody to make use of his data. To be writing or commenting or watching brokers in your data, you go read that. Don't you know we appreciate them? That you have to come and say, what, what, what are you talking? Don't you know that the data our people are using, if we convert it to bullet gun, bullet um, money, do you know how? Do you know the equipment we will acquire, acquire? Then you think we are not doing anything. How many Nigerians are media defending Nigeria? Show me one Nigerian broadcaster. Just the independent broadcasters defending Nigeria. Can you get them? We are here. The government came. We are here. They have left. Then who defeated each other? Unless we kill everybody in the African land. The same people, we want them to be safe. That warranted IPOB, not to retaliate. When they killed us in National High School, Alpha, though the first killing was in our nature, killing of IPOB family members, two dead, 29 injured, in our nature, 30th of August 2015, by Willie Obiano. IPOB was in an evangelism, sharing flyers with Biafran flag, sharing, making, uh, sharing flyers, telling people to join IPOB. That's all. They should kill us. The second one was they didn't kill us, but so many people injured in Bayesa in October 2015. When we went to protest in Bayesa, they scattered us, some fell in swamps, some wounded, some broke their legs, right? Second, they didn't kill us, but so many people injured in Bayesa in October 2015. When we went to protest in Bayesa, they scattered us, some fell in swamps, some wounded, some broke their legs, right? Second, the third was the killing of IPOB family members in National High School, but where we gathered to pray for Nandekano's illegal detention. Illegal detention because Namdekano have been already discharged unconditionally by Justice Ademola of the Federal High Court, 20th of December 2015. You know, Nigerians, when we are telling them about our treaties, they will they expect us to be opening our book. So I will go and open book to remember what happened from 2014. Am I mad? Not to me now. When I was seven years, they would come and ask me something. You see, 14 years, 14 years, they would, you know, they would, they would, people would just come and ask me. If you ask my father, he say, wait, if I come back. Oh, my mom, 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 it's not something you can read in book. No, no, seven years, he won't you come and ask me something. He can say, they okay. Ah, why you got join me? Right? The history of 1960 to now is like one hour ago to me. Do I stop in primary four? Now consider IPOB family members that finish a university, that went to the university. Talk about them. If people that stop in primary school can be dealing with Nigeria this way, then you think IPOB you have ended. Those that finish their secondary school, you have not met them, you have not defeated, you have not defeated primary school level. Like us, you, you want to defeat IPO. Yeah, you, you, you defeat secondary level, def, defeat university level. You, you, are, you are dreaming. I am a child, they don't even know what to become. Some people are in a haste. Our leader told you, 
We are not in a hands. You know, the zoo is in a hands. He said, only oh, and you see his son. Do you know how many years we have endured killings without hope? How many years have they been killing us? No hope. Is it now we are getting for Biafra? We have a name. We have an independent security that has no connection with the government. You can go at all these losses. <laughs> but you have never been in the church in Machi Pastor no Luna Jesus Adebe. It's just I tell you, no, Biafra and Kana, but no, no, yes, but no Biafra. In a double church Sunday, you didn't look at Pastor saying, no, I left on Jesus. I left on Alezo. Oh, Biafra, no. Kaga happy na remote. Oh, Bia. Oh, Bia, more emotion. Emotion again, it images were Biafra, Bia. A double church on Sunday, Jesus Adebe. In what way, who? Right? You got the Baba Baston, but oh, Biafra. Magic doesn't, yeah, we're going to be Afra. Mad people everywhere. That's why they deceive you through your emotion. I say, not Afra, who were. But when they, our people meet, visited me, when our leader was renditioned, they visited me in July 2021. I told them, never mind, it will be a long term war. The people will fall on the way. Because our leader cannot. Command the chaff again. This is an opportunity for chaff to fall out. All the chaff gata. Because no go and People you do not expect will fall away. People will be deceived. July 2022. I'm saying you don't need, there will be much story. There will be fake news. But you need to guide your loins because go If we have death of God, Mama singing at the death of God, you will see me as evil. But those death of God. Is for us to go and expose Nigeria. We are still going ahead. I am in a day move you with emotion. The letter with that of court. They say, hey, how can I put that today? I can put that today. I am not going to I am not going to go court. Nigeria, I go face a capital charge. Not you commit capital offense, but the charge is here. You commit your offense, but any charge, join your hand. Stand there. Yeah. Gamma motion for bear. Two years. I want to start the motion for bear. And I told my lawyer, don't find motion for bear for me in this very court. Court to a court to a court to a look. I said, bah, now I'm only doing the number. Not only doing the justice. And the other wanted to give justice. But the same thing I was crying for. I was crying about came. Because they said that every case should be tried under the judicial judiciary. And my case happened in Anir, in Ndiabo, Anir, which is under all judicial judiciary. Because Ndiabo, Anir has no high court. Instead of you to find much of a bail for me in our judicial judiciary, you went to Enugu judicial and fired. On that day, the prosecutor of Ogo came. He came and took the case file. He told the judge that uh, I am Obi Oran Namani. The uh, I saw counsel, the prosecutor Ogu, Ogu High Court. Right? The quoted constitution, he said he's here to take the case file back to Ogu. That's how they caught my bed. I told my lawyer, I told you not to file motion. He went to go and file another motion for me. In Ogu, I said, no. Bring this case for trial. Let us go for trial. And on the process of the trial for two years, I was decided to quit it. Adam Obama. Right? Thank you. I demand Nala. I met Andy and here they will know. <laughs> Nigerian court, Nigerian prosecutor, Nigeria prepared the judges, Nigeria appointed the judges, and Nigeria have everything. They provided amenities, they do all things, everything under their control. They even chase us, they use security to chase us out from the court premises. They intimidated our um, Igbo, um, Igbo governor's representative, our and Igbo representative, uh, religious leaders' representative, Igbo elders' representative, that IPOB asked to send their delegates. They came to stand within Namdekanu. They were molested. They were disgraced. They were embarrassed by Nigerian securities. Madam Ejeze and Mrs. Ejeze, Mama Diafra was kidnapped and illegally detained. So many of us was tortured. We saw fully recruited idiots parading around the camp premises with a casket written Namdekanu terrorist and also big banner written Namdekanu terrorist. These things were in, in 
harassment and intimidation we saw around the court premises that warranted us to tell you that the very winning or uh, the victory that Nam Dekano secured in court was a hard trick. It didn't come easy. So you do not expect IPOB to be winning a match with about with about uh, do you know how many goals goals we have st scored currently against Nigeria. You want us to start fighting in the but in the field of play. Oh, in the middle of ball now. If you are winning in a match with the goals, what are you fighting for? Don't would you allow the idiot you are winning to, to, to chop his own flesh? So don't you know that if you fight, the, the match will be cancelled and your goals will be forgotten? Or do you think when the match is cancelled, your goals will be returned? Now you know how clever we are. A sudden rendition, one goal, Malami called Ungo in Kenya. He scored goal in their post. Because uh, we are not a political party, we are IPOB. You cannot commit a solidarity rendition. He has let me to shoot gun in Owe. Around our bomb. Did you were kidnap Nam the Khan? Did you all know people will kidnap him? Why are you killing people in all? <laughs> in the name of Free Nam the Khan. When we know what a solidarity rendition is, what we have the kind of opportunity we have been looking for. Nam the Khan said, I expected the arrest from the West. But Obama is too is civilized. He refused to come in. I expected the became wrong to take action. He did not do anything. And some of you today was deceived with the gun. Do you know what you have fought? <laughs> Namdekano was the ordinary rendition into Nigeria. And you had the charges they prepared against you from amendment to amendment to amendment. In the amendments, both five amendment can charges, both seven amendment can charges, both 15 amendment can charges, though all of them have been trashed. Then ask yourself, where did you see a charge that was levied on Namdekano concerning the death of Buhari? Did you see it in the charges? The answer is no. Did you see? The exposition of um, Buhari uh, by molesting Aisha Buhari at the age of nine. Now they can say it on Radio Biafra. Did the Malami give him charge for that? The answer is no. What about uh, um, the filing of uh, um, Aisha Buhari at the age of 13? Did you see it in the charges? The answer is no. What about um, Buhari is a sponsor of Boko Haram? Did you see it in the charges? The answer is no. Did you see any Nigerian citizen challenging American in court for telling the world that their president is dead? The answer is no. Then what do they write in the charges? Answers. Unknown government activities. Are they not foolish? Are they not useless? Are they not idiots? And on this point, you have a ground to be going into violence, killing your brother, and saying of killing friend and the can. Do you know what we have achieved? Do you know where we are holding them? Do you know, it, is it, is this the first time to disobey God order? Is this the first time to keep an African in DSS? Solitary confinement? Is this the first time to deny him access to his Jewish worshiping materials? Is this the first time to deny him changing clothes? Is this the first time we have seen all these things? But this is the second one. They thought that um, they corrected all their mistakes. Today, they have made the worst mistake because this one have addition. This one have extraordinary rendition. Thank you, the judge and acquitted. I joined you on a court. I saw ya, it was in the early way. Oh, no, Nigeria, I saw ya. Hand on the leg in Anya. One idiot from Niger Republic, Anna Pomalami, a Fulani boy. He said he was discharged, not acquitted. Discharge, you have not even obeyed the charge. So that will be asking you about that acquitted. You did not obey the charge, you did not obey acquitted. But he said there was a discharge mission. But he was not cautioned and discharged. Did you understand? Because caution and discharge means that somehow you committed it, so the judge had discovered you did it, but he is cautioning you and discharging you. 
Now you know. Now Facebook, we invited them now. We invited Facebook. As our leader, invited our enemies. If you know what you do for Biafra thought to come, do it. Is that not the, what the Udogu said? And when they were doing it, they were they turned it to the other hand. Our leader said, whatever you know, Biafra, do you do Biafra? Come, do it. People believe them without knowing that they were doing the other one that our leader said, whatever you know, you will do and stop Biafra from coming, do it. That's what they were doing. They were not doing the one that said, if you know what you do for Biafra to come, do it. No, if it was not doing it. They told you they are in charge of ESL. Did the devil man he claimed in charge of ESL? Now, who is worse than devil man? Uh, than each other. Did the devil man or Saudi governor raise funds in the name of ESL? Did the Saudi governor of Anese claim to be in charge of IPOB that they do not belong to? Then, between those that claim to be in charge of IPOB that they do not belong to and the Saudi governors, who is worse than each other? Did the day for man he launch a radio to replace Radio Biafra? Now, who is worse than each other? People that will launch VOB and told you not to listen to Radio Biafra. Check by yourself. Between them and the governors, who are the worst? But you see them fighting governors. They are not in position to fight governors. They are worse than the governors. Only IPOB are in the neutral ground to tell any politician but we can tell them we never fight our people Eberima is the worst and his autopilot because they claim what they do not know about today where is their ESM? baby bush double lion fifth temple <laughs> When they died, the community will celebrate. But the communities are still mourning the death. How many years now? They are still mourning. But uh, you saw the picture of the Konso circulated on that me. Circulate the picture of Odumod. Circulate the picture of Baby Bush. Circulate the picture of uh, Double Lion. Let us see you. Now you know, you now you know they are not your hero. They are criminals. Communities celebrate their deaths. Women celebrate their deaths. But the death of Ikons, they are still mourning. I'm going to go to the house. I'm going to go to the house. I'm going to By start accommodating the truth, welcoming the truth, your madness will disappear. If you start thinking, when we are saying the truth, you will be thinking otherwise, how to cover it, how to, we know you can only cover lies with lies, cover crime with the crime, crime cannot be covered with the good, lies cannot be covered, because one will expose each other, so you will try to cover it up, then you will become mad, cover the truth with the lie, you become mad, because you will keep trying to plan how to cover it, that is madness, if you want to cure yourself, accommodate the truth, then you are okay. Your brain will relax. That's how we cure. We can make you mad with the truth. We can cure you with the truth. The same. Only one ingredient. <laughs> Thank you. Which radio? Radio VOB. Rubbish. Voice of betrayal. That's what I named it. I'm the one who named it. Voice of betrayal. It is gone now. The form fake M branch. That one is gone. Yes, rubbish. They are now in exile. On the issue of Biafra, zero latitude and zero longitude, exile. So you declare government in exile in Finland, and the headquarters is in Germany. And you declare government in exile in Finland, you didn't have a headquarters in Finland because you are facing criminal interrogation. Since then, you never shot. Kill! Kill! You know, some of them don't know why he does Finland. He cannot say this is our headquarters in Finland. Now ask yourself, can you be in any country and declare the Afro government in Nazi without the ambassador of Nigeria of that very country writing to that government and ask them why? So you think somebody can declare the Afro government in Nazi and Nigerian chief of defense staff did not say anything? So Nigerian chief of army staff did not say anything. Nigerian chief, chief of air staff is not saying anything. Nigerian chief of naval staff did not say anything. Nigerian GOC, a two division 
a two division command did not say anything. The service governor did not meet. He declared government in exile without presenting army. How will it attract the government? Is it not when Nandikano launched ESM that the government start coming with the force, trying to see if they can stop ESM? If you launch the government in exile, you present army and you discuss it with your people, they'll be responding to your commands. Who are you going to lead? Somebody that you have killed, people you have tortured. Don't you know you don't torture our people? So you want to declare government in exile, you will be killing your own. Don't you know you make peace with them, you will command them from far away. And before you declare government in exile, you must have been chased away from your country. And you must have started um, agitating from your country. But this one, this one has never discussed Biafra and Biafra land. He never met somebody and said we are discussing Biafra in Biafra land. He just traveled under Nigerian athletes. He never be in a problem with Nigeria. He don't have problem with the Nigerian embassy. He don't have case with Nigeria. He declared government in exile. Are we in war with Nigeria? Nandikano was in a very big opportunity to declare government in exile when he disappeared in Afaruku 2017. He had reappeared in Israel. He was in opportunity because his home was attacked. And the government forced him out. Who forced you out to declare exile? Mad people in you everywhere. So you declared Nandikano reappeared in Israel. Like Mohammed was telling Israeli government under Benjamin Netanyahu to repatriate Nandikano back to Nigeria. But you are old. You declare government in Israel. No statement from Nigeria. Mad people everywhere. Omo Anon Pama. Then I'm again here. So you will declare, even they are looking for me, they are looking for others. That you are Biafra dictator leader, Otopai, you have a criminal interrogation in Finland on a case you committed in Nigeria. And Nigeria did not come and say, hand over Simon to us, because they want to catch him. So when he committed the offense in Finland and killed a pregnant woman, and the Finnish government went and investigated, it was a time for Nigeria to say, hand him over to us. It would have been the best opportunity had he been fighting genuinely for Biafra if he was not installed by the federal government. It was an opportunity because he had a case. But the Nandikan did not have a case. They spent money to extraordinary rendition him. They were warning Israeli to return him back to Nigeria. But you are fighting for Biafra, fighting Nigeria. You have a case that Nigeria ambas Nigeria government have to ride through their ambassador and demand that they very much be handed over to them. But they didn't do so. Rather, they went and some pedal it. They bribed them and said, stop publishing the investigation and stop the case. But it, they killed a Nigerian citizen, a pregnant woman. That Nigeria is supposed to take over the case. Did you hear from Nigeria? Was the journalist not on official mission? Why did you not hear official statement from Nigeria? I ain't a boy God, go, go to your Google, Google, Facebook, any place, search for fearless IPOB evangelist. Maase, Madabuchi, Mwachuku. It's a way out there in IPOB evangelism. Can you see a video on this? Can you see a video on this? Or a IPOB grassroots evangelism by fearless evangelist. Can you see a video on this? Can you see Right? I can't even post. But I'm not going to make a video. I'm not preach. I'm going to video. I'm not going to be a. But I have a market. I'm not going to be a fool. National coordinator. Money. I'm going to be a sum guy. If you don't need a mega motor, one thousand five. We will support a mega motor. Be a mega phone. We didn't know. My land. I don't know. Land. I don't know. To welcome me, and when they come, how am I going to preach in Biafra? Ni my share flyers. Let you be preaching. How many you are now? Ah, trouble now, serious trouble. I don't know you na gecko now. Say you don't know preach. Get in a gecko. How about the arrest? Only one person can move. Yeah, not there. Yeah, now I'm in the middle. I'm doing good. So, yeah, some good things get said about him.
Kaiche ni mbiozo. Ayeche katamsi yoga. Ema kwa dehe mbira inga. Ema nwa uwaka mbira. Ema nengwe mtaye mbuna ando dombe. Ema. Pusho uro mbiya. Pusho uro megafono. Pusho uro ni maya. Don't wait for anybody. Inga wawo. This is our weapon. Inga ukenye nani. Eche lo nye na aputagi. Freedom fight na naga apu madu na yadu. Ipo madu na yadu. Apu teji dunu. Family yaga na achotagi nongi bera borodia. No pastra dia ni na tebo. Gebe ya borodia. Babo dia. Nongi wa. Nongi bitre dia. Tuko se bo di wa. Ana ha apu madu na yadu. Mego a miti. Olesu no na broad. Na biya fialanda. Ana ha apu madu. Oni shone. Tira te ya ibo gya. Mra nongi wa hanga wala dade. So, thank you. <laughs> yes, thank you. So, master, ya push you ya. Ya jo, me a double the microphone, megaphone, move one side. Ya be another zeme push on. Say, your duty who hold this phone. This my camera phone is my security. If I reach there, don't come closer to me to avoid arresting you. Let them arrest me. Hide somewhere and be videoing me. So that whatever happened to me, you have the evidence to send to Ndish. Stay one side. <laughs> That's how he was able to be with me. So he went and they handled my phone. He was somewhere in the market videoing me. My man, my, 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 look at she, my hand. Osbomu bitro preaching. Nde madu na abiasi. People was coming. He don't know that the IPOB ju ni mahi. But the problem u onyege uku. When they saw that nothing happened. And they saw my boldness. Right? They started coming. One, I was there. One person brought this one to me. And gave it to me. Watching it. Right? People was coming. People was coming. People left their market. They were around, coming around. Before him, himself, fear went out of him. He now came out from where he was hiding. <laughs> now I collected the phone from him. I gave him a size look that I wrote phone numbers. Do you know how many phone numbers I have damaged? I wrote phone numbers. Share it to them. If you want to tell people, call me. If you call me, I'm the one that will respond to your call. That is, investigate you. Then, if you are genuine, I will connect you to the nearest coordinator. These are works we have done. I will connect you. I will answer the call now. There are periods I will handle that line. I will break another one. I will go to field of play where they are playing match. I will play there. I will drop phone number. I will divide the field into two. They will call me and respond. Where are you? I bacha going in. Confirm work. One day I confirm work. Then I will hand you over the coordinate. They will bring you in. Right? Thank you. These are wars we have fight here in the Finland. Still, uh, it depends on your leadership. If you do it, I say, don't take it. That's all from DOS. They betray our leader. Are you foolish? You are very, very mad and stupid. We took an oath and said, I hereby solemnly and voluntarily swear to be absolutely loyal to DOS. <laughs> Then people that did not take oath, they come and tell you, the oath has no meaning. The, the, the oath, let us fight and free our leader. We don't need to take an order from our leader. You are mad. He is not a thief. He is not an armed robber. He is a freedom fighter under self-determination. He is not an armed robber. You must communicate him to know the type of freedom he needs. Only criminal gang leader will be in prison. His gang can take any action without consulting him. You know, people cannot differentiate these things. 
Lawyers must more communicate in the canon. You don't know what he discussed with the enemy last night when they visited him, when they were begging him, when they were presenting things for him. It is less for him when you visit him. He will tell you the next stand to continue in what you are doing. He will tell you to go to this court, take this man to court. You go tell you to do this. He's in charge. It is a blow to Nigeria. But when they wanted to destroy Namika, they told you, they told David Mark to say, we are not going to take instruction from anybody in DSS. And when you had some media, they said, he is under duress. He cannot be starting us from detention. But you believe he was kidnapping Kenya. And he told you he was kidnapping Kenya while he was in DSS. Was he in London when he told you he was kidnapping Kenya? So he was bold enough to tell Barista Jofo he was kidnapping Kenya in DSS. But he cannot be bold enough to sustain Monday sit at home. You are very, very foolish. Monday sit at home and where Namdekano was kidnapped, which one should be hiding? Which one <laughs> should be said in secret? Monday sit at home, now can cancel it anywhere, in the presence of anybody. He can suspend it in the presence of anybody. But where he was kidnapped, he told it to a Jofo. A Jofo bring it out, and you believe. You believe he was kidnapping Kaya, which came from him while in DSS. Did he tell you outside? He was in DSS and he leaked the secret. A Jofo brought it out. How come in the same DSS, he suspended Monday, Monday sit at home? You say he was under duress. But he wasn't under the rest when he told you he was kidnapping Kenya in the same DSS. I am not allowed to come out of the superior argument. I am not going to turn him over. Some of you are listening by using earphones. Remove the earphone, let your children listen. To see how foolish you are as an autopilot. Allow them to hear. He may not be able to hear. In the morning, your children will spit on your face. You are an idiot. You killed their uncle <laughs> at the village. Using a non men as a freedom fighter. Don't you know that every operation of freedom fighter must be made known? So that it will be counted in your activities. How can you attack secretive formation? You will be a non gun man. How? When ESN are on their duty in the bushes, do they claim to be on non government? Because they are on special duty. So their activities should be recognized by the enemy, knowing the people that are doing it. But on non government activities cannot be recorded for anybody. Therefore, it is a negative action. Then you should not channel it to freedom fighting. Because we are trying to ridicule such a movement. Can you understand? Now the kind of freed. Now a month of blackmail. Now a month of intimidation. Now a month of illegal detention. Now a month of disobedience to court order. Now a month of um, every evil that we have seen in the hand of Nigeria and we are, that we are seeing can make Nam the canon die will be to abandon them. It is impossible because before we started agitating, we are already useless. It is now that we are agitating that we still have, we have value. So we cannot drop our value to go back to nothing. Before agitation, we are nothing. We were nothing. But now we are no longer nothing. Why we are agitating? So which one should we hold on? Should we go back and top, become nothing? Or we continue and become something. Now you know where we are heading to. <laughs> we don't have roots to back, no. But people will be falling away. That is certain, it is nature. People will be running out of patience. And they will fall away. People will also be used as an instrument of deceit. And they will deceive you. And we IPOB, we don't move an inch. You will only cry for yourself, not we. We don't even feel sorry for ourselves. We don't pity for ourselves. If we pity for ourselves, you cannot see us protest. You cannot see us preach. 
You cannot see us in abroad risking our papers, risking our jobs. Or do you think it's easy to eat? It is easy to protest in abroad. It is not easy. Thank you. I do mad man. I like on dinner need. Deal with them in truth and in honest. In their next life, NIP will begin also. Some of you think that uh, those that kidnap them can have become free because their tenor have ended. You are dreaming. It will in our own. Then what is the reason of our perseverance? All these things we have been enduring. So after enduring it, then uh, Manami will become free from being persecuted. No. It won't happen. We are POV. We will destroy our enemies in the open. But Nigeria, they believe in secret trial. And we said, no, you will try us in the open. Now tell me who is evil. He who wants to cover somebody's face and try me. And I myself that you gave allegation, I say, try me in the presence of the world. You said, no, you want to share the face of the witness. So the witness is greater than me. I can be exposed. Let be terrorists laid allegations on me. Then in the open, right? Ridiculed in the open, kidnapped. Then at the end, witness will be shared. You are, you are a fool. You can do it to Dine Malai. You can do it to any politician. Can do it to Saraki. That is your business. You don't do it to us. Now you're going to say, You can never jail me. It has been pronounced, You can never jail me. Full stop. I will destroy you in your own court. <coughs> have anything changed from what Nami can say? No. He is destroying you and. He has destroyed Nigeria and still destroyed, and he cannot be jailed. Have it not come to pass? Then who is winning? Because you went to Vanguard and make comments. You saw a publishment publish what they publish against IP. You went and you promoted them without knowing that after all your propaganda, that no one can defeat you and your government in your court. He defeated you and your government in your court. IPOB also defeated you and your government in all the blackmail to, um, to recognize or designate IPOB as a terrorist organization. All their effort failed. And that's why Obedient fell also. They failed to recognize what IPOB is holding that have been the key of their success. What are we holding? Our God. But obedient was holding PVC. <laughs> they said PVC of power. And in IPOB we told them, we don't have weapon. Our God is our weapon. Now you know. Now you know why we are indestructible. Those immediately your PVC is defeated, is defeated. You are gone because that is your weapon. You was not holding God. Do you have God? You cannot call God in the name of Nigeria. He will definitely not answer you. Because Nigeria was not created by God. But you see them praying for Nigeria. You see, these are uh, even professors. Pray for Nigeria. Does God bless what he did not create? God cannot bless this thing. He can only bless the water inside. He don't bless plastic. Your cotton tear, you pray that God will bless your cotton to fix. 
the tire of your motor bus, instead of you to change tire, you are praying, God bless my tire to be okay. Yeah, are you mad? God will bless natural things, things he created. Just like Nigeria, that a human being gave statement on its creation and reason why it was created. That is to say, the gods of Nigeria gave statement about the creation of Nigeria and the reason why he, Lugard, created Nigeria. Because Frederick Lugard said, when he was asked, why did you amalgamate the north and the south together? He said, because the north is too poor. That is to say, the creator of Nigeria has spoken. <laughs> now you know how we deal with our enemies. If we try to shout one now, am I the one that say it? Is it Tojuku that said it? Is it in Amir? Is it not the gods of Nigeria? Look at it, that said, I am agreeing the north and the south together because the north is too poor. Is it not the reason the creator of Nigeria gave? So why do you pray in the name of pray to God instead of praying to Lugard? Lugard is the God of Nigeria. Now you see why did B. Joshua prayed? It was not answered. Oye Debu, Tunde Bakari, Oya Kilomi, Moaka, all of them. You can only pray for Arewa, God will answer it. Pray for Dudua, God will answer it. Pray for Biafra, God will answer. If you pray for Nigeria, you are fooling yourself. If you pray for Nigeria, I will pray for my good. Good will get healed. That God, because God created good. I will pray. Even God will bless Flani Cow. More than Nigeria. Because God created the cow. He did not create Nigeria. So, only anybody praying for Nigeria or giving you a prayer point, pray for Nigeria, the person is a deceiver. God does not bless what he does not, he didn't create. He can never bless it. He did not create it. The more you pray, the more flan you come and kill you. That's why, when you are praying, even where you are gathering. They don't value you because you need to know that God doesn't answer you. Because God did not create Nigeria. If God created Nigeria, how do they tell Fulani to come and take your land? Show me one single statement from the Kabas against Fulani in Vedas. No, they always make statements. I mean Garuba Shil. Femi Adesina, Lai Mohammed, their statements about invasion of communities, killings by Flanese men are always give them your land. Communities should bring land for Ruga. They should bring grazing land. You never had anything they said against Flanese by saying Flanese should stop killing. No, you cannot hear it. What you hear is give them your land so that they stop killing you. Do you understand? That is to say that nobody is a citizen apart from those that they open their border for them to come in. You that is a Nigeria is not a citizen. Thank you. And on that place, we are going to bring today's broadcast to an end and the same way our God have blessed IPOB to have branches that cannot be caught in different parts of the world it is a favor we pray that Chukwa Biyama in heavens will bless our people wherever they are on the face of this planet earth Save them, protect them, guide them, knowing that the reason why we are being we are facing different conditions in different parts of the world is because the enemy are already occupying our land, not only occupying, they are killing us and determined to wipe us out. Chukwa Biyama, you have used that opportunity to establish it in different parts of the world, which we know that 
time is coming when all of us will be back and that will only happen when Biafra comes. We are asking you to favor our people wherever they are so that your favor upon them will attract the favor of all mankind so that they will be favored within and without. Favor IPOB in all their all the petitions they file on the table of different governments, all our letters to different governments, all our tweets to different governments, all our complaints to different governments in the world. Favor us even in our absence, favor us even in our presence. Chukwabiyama, see us through, continue to deal with Nigeria, but not with the continuous legal detention of Nandikan. You can change this to another method. Free Nandikan and punish them with another thing. Chain them down. You have more options to use on Nigeria, apart from the continuous illegal detention of Nandikan. Bless him with the freedom, Chukwabiyama. You have blessed him in the court of appeal with freedom pronouncement. But perfection of the total freedom is what we want you to perfect now. As we do, his freedom will always, always come from thee. As he told us that, as we proceed, you, Chuko Kikabiyama, in heavens, presides over every of our proceedings. And that is why we keep holding on you, because Namdekano did not present any God to us or for us apart from thee. Therefore, Chuko Abiyama, take your full position and put the enemy in the final shame. Thank you, Ezudu, because we know that in a short while now, we will be celebrating with our leader Nandikano. To the glory of your name, and for the restoration of Biafra, and for the joy of your children, people of Biafra, in your name, Chi Uku Okike, Abia Amara Pro Ime Ihenile, we have prayed. He said, he said, he said, thank you. Facebook. No problem. From me, fearless IPB evangelist, Mazemara Timwachuku, and from here, our homeland radio Biafra, in Biafra land. It is good evening.